Hey there guys and gals and welcome back to Let's Play Hunting Ground. And this is gonna be post commentary for like a number of episodes because Oh medallion. Because I fucking recorded the rest of this game in one setting, which was three hours and twenty-one minutes. And the first one hour and thirteen minutes didn't fucking process for the audio file. Okay, so I made sure that I wasn't wearing the Obsidian Choker uh, for this bit, because for this bit you need to lure a Luminescent. And if you're wearing the Obsidian Choker like I did in my uh, first LP of this, yeah, you're not going to be able to uh, lure it anywhere. There's Lumi. Lumi, a Lumi. So... The fuck was that noise? <laughs> Uh, there is going to be, like, one episode with post and live commentary. And it's going to be Daniela's boss fight, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, so you lure the Luminescent here to the statue with the uh, lamp. No. I don't know why I said no. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I thought I could control the camera. I can. <laughs> Obviously. This game has uh, fixed, uh, fixed camera angles. Ah oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to reach shit and everything too. Ah, oh, Christ. This isn't gonna end well. Come on. Okay, so that wall moved. So now we can venture Good further boy. into the manor. Come on. Ah oh, man. I'm really annoyed at what happened, but I can't change it. Okay, so we come down here. Ooh, look at all. <gasps> this isn't at all. It's a mummy. In a weird gothic Lolita, I think. Is it a Lolita or is it just some weird ass fucking dress? I don't know. And apparently those urns don't just contain dog items. That wall! Look at that wall, isn't it neat? Don't you think my collection's complete? <laughs> uh, that wall will go away once we do something else. Chicken jerky! Come down here. Daniela's in there. Hello, crazy lady. Come on. You? No. Oh, there he is. Come on. Good boy. Fucking Huey. Come on. Huey does not listen. He is a little shit. Sometimes. Oh my God! What? No. Why did he fucking scream? I didn't understand that. Refined antimony. That fucking graph there is the biggest piece of shit ever. A strange jumble of. T t t t t t. I forgot that I was supposed to read those, and so I fast skipped. I wonder what's uh, going on outside of the steel cage I seem to have landed myself in. I need to fucking remember that I need to try and fucking keep up the pace. Oh, but it's difficult. I wish I wish I was a fish. <laughs> Look at that fucking fish too. Look at it. It's so weird. And convenient selective reflections is convenient. <gasps> Hello, madam. How are you doing today? Fuck, I don't remember if I w talked about Danielle's backstory before that or after. Like before this audio cuts off or after. Oh shit, I don't know. Yui, for some reason, why are you not fucking hitting her? I tried to hide here, but that was stupid. Because that hallway in this room is considered one big room. And apparently you can't read maps whenever uh, 
stalkers are coming after you, surprisingly. And then I was like, ah, fuck it, let's just kill her. Let's just kick this bitch. I was really conflicted. I was like, should I run or should I kill? And then that happened. Usually you can get an item off of a downed enemy. I guess she wasn't downed. But whatever. So, go in there and put the card cell. I'm really struggling to remember whether or not I talked about Daniela's backstory. Um, I'll probably remember. Little Luminescent following us. Little shithead. And that leads back into this room. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> I can't see her, but I know she's there somewhere. Of course, I forgot my, uh... Mm. I forgot something really obvious, and that is, because Daniela's the maid, she'll fucking know where every single hiding spot is. Wait for it. Wait for it. She found me. Hello. Run away! Oh fucking hell, look at her. Fucking slicing and dicing that shit. And for some reason Huey was not wanting to help. I decided to try and get the mirror. Just to try and distract her. Of course, I don't know how the fuck those mirrors work. I don't know how you make her see herself. But you know. I somehow did it. And that is how you can tell. And then I decided to close the door. And then I was going to try and hide there. But then I remembered I don't have the fairy earrings on. <laughs> this was. Oh my god, this was total fucking chaos. <laughs> oh my god, look at it! It was so fucking stupid. Oh, fuck. <laughs> crazy ass bitch is crazy. Oh, look at her walking robotically. Robot. You go, girl. You need a robot. Oh, fuck. She's crazy. I love her. Ms. Daniela. I almost forgot her name. I also remembered when I talked about Daniela's backstory, so it's okay. I know when to do it. Fucking music. Look at that big ass moose head. That's crazy. I was still sitting there because I was like, yep, I know she ain't fucking gone. I also remember that I needed to close my fucking room door. Oh look, she came back. See, I told you. That was actually when I closed my room door. And then she came back and I was like, oh fuck! Dive for the controller! Yui, what the fuck? Did you actually do that just to distract her? Whatever it fucking worked, she walked right past you. This is gonna be a really shit episode, it's just gonna be me fucking being invisible and shit. <laughs> oh lord. But you know, it happens. This is the game. This is what happens in Haunting Ground. It's quite an accurate representation. Of course there is a hell of a lot of other fucking... Of course there is a lot more running around if you don't fucking have the fairy earrings. I don't actually know how I completed this without the fairy earrings. It was so fucking hard. 